hey what's going on ladies and gents we've got the new banners currently on twitter that genshin impact has finally released and we're going to be taking a look at them right here as we can see and we've got even more stuff coming up i guess um obviously we have the actual banner for kamisato ayato here and it looks like we are going to see yunjin again that is incredible you also have xiangling as well as sucrose this actually is a pretty good banner obviously we have uh you know freaking good support for kamisato ayato himself so this is going to be a pretty nice time overall and it looks like we are going to have yunjin back and i feel like it wasn't that long ago that we have seen yunjin so it's kind of an interesting thing to see her back already but obviously she is going to be you know helping with the normal attack damage buff that uh ayato obviously you know feeds off of and we also have all the other event stuff such as you know story quests and the new archon quest containing Dainsliff. And we've got the Venti rerun banner. Wow, we haven't seen this in such a long time. It's been maybe a year almost since we've seen Venti back in the game. So this is a pretty interesting thing to see. Now, this is the interesting stuff. And we've got the new weapon banner with obviously the LG of the end, as well as the new weapon that I do not know how to pronounce. Now, this new weapon we've seen yesterday, it will be good for Ayato. But it won't be that great for, you know, other characters. But I will definitely be, you know, using this a lot. And we've also got Rust on here, which is pretty good. The Sacrificial? I think that's the Sacrificial Fragments. I'm not quite sure. It could be the Witsith. I think it might be the Witsith, actually. And we also got the Flute. We've got Dragon's Bane and the Sacrificial Greatsword. So I think it might be Sacrificial. I don't know. It's one of them. Um, anyways, it's not bad. If you get Rust, it's actually pretty good. If you have maybe Oimiya, Tartaglia, the Dragon's Bane is good for a character like Hu Tao, and maybe even Xiang Ling. The others are kind of meh. Unless this is the Witset. The Witset is good on many, like, Catalyst users, right? Now, this banner, I would not recommend you guys to summon on, because obviously only one weapon is the weapon that you really want, and the other one is kind of, if you get it, it's alright. <laughs> But you don't have like a weapon banner with, you know, two really good weapons that uh, I can recommend. So, I don't know. Uh, but I will personally try my best to get Aito and then go for this banner and try to get that weapon. It is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, I'm going to be doing summons as soon as Ayato releases. So if you guys want to watch that, I might be streaming this on my channel here. So let me know if you guys are interested in it in the comment section down below. Anyways, we move on. I think that is all we need to see. These are the, just the event preview stuff. I think that is all. I think we are caught up here. Now... For the Ayato banner and Venti banner, obviously, I would just recommend to summon on uh, the character that you like. Try them on the trials, the trial runs that you have. And on do you get like a few gems. You also get to try out the character. So if you like the character, you can go for them. If you don't, you don't, you know. And the actual character Ayato, I will be summoning on and making a video as soon as he releases. So if you guys want to know if you should summon, if you shouldn't summon, uh, I'll be making a video on it. I'll be making a first impression video on it as well. So make sure you guys tune in in the very near future. I think tomorrow he comes out. So that's going to be a pretty interesting time. Now for the actual banner itself, should you summon or should you skip? Personally, I think that you should summon on this banner. If you don't have Xiang Ling, Xiang Ling has amazing constellations. I highly suggest you guys actually pick up some more of her constellations if you don't have them. Sucrose has a pretty good C6 constellation as well as C1. Other than that, her constellations are alright. C1 is where you really get a lot of the extra damage, extra, you know, swirl. That is where you get most of it from. And obviously her C6 allows you to get a little bit of a Kazuha buff with the 20% increase elemental damage bonus. And Yunjin. Yunjin has okay constellations. You don't really need them. 
But if you have C6 Yunjin, obviously you're going to be increasing some more of the normal tag damage. So that is also a pretty good time. All right, I think that is going to be all. So summon skip for Ayato. I think he's a really good character to summon for because of the four stars. So if you guys want, you know, just the four stars, it is a fine battle to summon on. This banner specifically, I don't think I would recommend it because it doesn't really have another really good weapon. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think about the banners in the comment section down below. And if you are going to be summoning for Ayato. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.